In exactly one week, it will be opening night for high school football, and we continue our countdown to kickoff as we head to Brownsville and take a look at the Edmonton County Wildcats. The Wildcats had a rough 2023 season going 2-9 and nine before falling to Mayfield in the first round of the two-way state tournament. And it will be a lot of new things this season for the Wildcats. Edmondson County has its third head coach in the past four seasons with new head coach and Justin Vessels taking over the reins. Plus the addition of quarterback Tristan Muse and need new defensive coordinator Tommy Muse. The Wildcats have been using this summer to connect with each other. It's been going good. I mean, like I said, I think the players have really bought in. They've been receptive to how we've uh, coached. It's been a real a positive atmosphere around here, and I think morale is good, and they're just uh, eager to get to work and get better. Well, the players are taking the trust from the coach pretty easily and learning a lot and learning quickly from the new coaches. It's been a rough few seasons for the Wildcats, only winning five games in the past three seasons, but they know it's a process and to take it one week at a time, and they believe they have the tools to turn it around and restore the program back to its winning ways. I would like to see us just continue to get better and improve each week, and whatever amount of wins that we can win, you know, that'll be based partly on you know our schedule and our talent level. But as long as we play with a great attitude and great effort and get better each week, I think uh, it'll be something that everybody can be proud of. I'm looking forward to just winning, having a, a good senior year, helping the program get back to where it needs to be. Because last few years, I think we've won five games the whole time I've been in high school. Hopefully, we can have a winning record just to finish it out. Now, taking a look at the Wildcats schedule, they open up on the road at Grayson County, taking on the Cougars for the fourth year in a row. And the first home game of the season will be at the start of September when they take on Muhlenberg County, who they only fell to by one point last season. The Wildcats have a three game stretch at home at the end of the month and beginning of October. That includes Owensboro Catholic before the final road game of the season at Todd County Central and then senior night on November 1st against Breckenridge County. For a further look at the Wildcats schedule, head on over to our website 